President Obama using the race card. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Last week, Ms. Winfrey, promoting her film The Butler in Great Britain, was interviewed by the BBC. Now let's analyze Oprah's take. I've known her for decades, not well, but we've spoken on occasion. As I've written, I admire Oprah Winfrey. She rose up from very humble circumstances to become perhaps the most powerful woman in the world. And she did that, she did that on pure talent. She also looks out for the kids. I've been on a program talking about protecting children. In my opinion, she is a good person. But Oprah definitely has a blind spot when it comes to politics. She, along with some others, use a racial prism when analyzing public policy. There's no question that President Bush was attacked far more viciously than President Obama has been. But Ms. Winfrey has not acknowledged that as far as I know. Both men had controversies, Bush, the Iraq War, Obama, health care. So is there an anti-WASP sentiment in America? President Bush being a white Anglo-Saxon Protestant. I would like to put that question to Oprah Winfrey, but she has declined to appear on this program. Her statement is even more erroneous when you examine recent history. This week, we are marking the 50th anniversary of President Kennedy's assassination. He was hated and vilified by some because he was a Roman Catholic. Again, the irrational hatred directed toward Kennedy far greater than what Barack Obama has experienced. So what Oprah Winfrey is doing is making an excuse for President Obama using race. And many other committed left-wing people who truly revere the president are doing the same thing. We all know that some Americans do despise Barack Obama because of his skin color. There will always be bigots. But the number is insignificant. And I submit that Oprah Winfrey and others who play the race card can't back up their statements with any facts. The lunatic fringe will hate no matter what. But legitimate criticism of Barack Obama is not race-centric. It is based on policy. The president wants to change America. He wants to impose a big government income redistribution situation. Many Americans like me believe that will weaken the country. I have nothing personal against President Obama. In fact, he has joined with me to help thousands of wounded veterans. He's been great on that issue. But this nanny state play is causing tremendous economic problems. And that's where my criticism comes down. Finally, it is irresponsible of Oprah Winfrey, a woman of influence in this country, to say what she said to the BBC. The record shows that Mr. Obama is simply a president who is being criticized for some of his policies. And as the man himself would say, period. And that's a memo. Now for the top story in my reaction. Joining us from Cambridge, Massachusetts, Harvard University law professor Charles